Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm gonna be doing a haul. I've collected a few things throughout the month. So the first things I wanted to share with you guys are from fashionnova.com. This was my first time purchasing from them and this is not sponsored at all. I bought all these clothes with my own money and there was actually a sale at the time. I got $42 off of my whole purchase and the total ended up being about like $89. So it was a lot of money to be saving. I definitely recommend following them on Instagram because that's where I found out about this sale and they actually have a sale going on right now so just like go on their Instagram and it'll probably still be there. I just wanted to test it out for myself. I saw that it was super affordable so I was like um yes please I love cheap clothes and I wanted to find out more about the quality because you know sometimes when you buy cheap clothes it's not always that amazing. I was actually blown away by the quality when I first got them. I was like what the heck some of them are like cheaper than Forever 21's bodysuits and they're like thicker, they're like better quality and you could like feel it. I'm just so happy that I found this website and now if I ever need like a formal dress, I'm definitely getting it from Fashion Nova because almost all of them range from like $35 to $40 and that's super cheap for a formal dress. I also have a couple of other things in this haul too, so let's get started. First, I'm starting with Fashion Nova. This is a black bodysuit. It's supposed to be a mock neck, but my boobs are kind of weighing it down, so I'll just have to like safety pin it up. It does show a lot of side boob, and I ordered it in a large, so if you have big boobs, maybe order it in an extra large. And the quality is really, really nice. It's way nicer than Forever 21. I just wish this part was like a little bit higher, but like obviously I can't really help it. I have big boobs. So I did buy a lot of bodysuits. This is the next one. It's like a gray t-shirt, but it's actually a bodysuit. It is literally the softest thing in the world. It's also kind of different because these are kind of rolled up and they're sewn like that. So it just gives it a little bit more detail. So this is another bodysuit. I love this color so much. I like the style of the low cut over here and I think it suits me really well. Of course, I wish this was like a little bit more up, but I don't think it looks super awful. So this is the next bodysuit. I'm like more than obsessed with this. I literally can't deal choker cutouts like everything in one bodysuit it is the cutest thing in the world um at first it was like what the heck is this even gonna fit me it is like the nicest fabric ever it's really thick another concern was that i was gonna get my makeup all over like the collar it was really tight at first but it obviously stretched out and it actually fit i love this bandeau thing i think it's really unique this next bodysuit is super basic it's literally just like a light heathered gray tank top. I just wanted to have some basics to wear on an everyday basis, not just like going out or anything. Wow, shocking. This is not a bodysuit. It is actually a t-shirt dress and it's so comfy. It's not like super thick, but it's not super thin either. I really recommend wearing like a cute bra that you don't mind being shown because sometimes like when somebody bumps into you, your shirt kind of goes like that. So last time I wore like a cute bra with like a little pink bow in the middle and it kind of matched it so I thought it was like fine. This t-shirt dress looks so cute with high knee boots so if you have any of those I really recommend this dress because I feel like I don't have much to wear with those boots but this dress made me pull it out of my closet and get to wear them. So this is the last bodysuit from Fashion Nova. It's like this taupey purple color. It has these really cool sleeves, but it's definitely unique and I wanted more bodysuits that actually looked different from each other. Majority of the other bodysuits were $20, but this one was $22, so that's not much of a difference. And the quality on this is really nice. It's like this really soft, stretchy material. And I just can't believe like all these bodysuits are that cheap for the quality. It's like really awesome. Then I got these ripped shorts from American Eagle. I had ones just like these, but unfortunately I just grew out of them, so I had to get a size bigger. I love these so much. They're definitely like a basic to have in your closet. Then I got these from American Eagle as well because the same thing happened. I grew out of my other light denim shorts. I actually like these better just because they're a little bit more distressed on the ends. Next I got these shorts from a boutique called 628 here in Orlando, super close to UCF. These shorts are actually so soft. They're almost like a suede material and they're called lounge shorts so you pretty much just wear it like around your house but I feel like I'd be tempted to like wear this to like class just because it's so comfortable. Next I got these white Nike shorts from the Nike outlet. It wasn't a huge discount. I think it was like $10 off but at least I saved some money. Since the range of my fraternity and sorority shirts are growing, I thought I would get another pair of Norm 
shorts. I wanted a different color and I thought white would look really cute with like navy blue shirts or just black. I also got a couple of sports bras from Nike as well. This one is a really basic one. I just needed more sports bras, honestly. Please excuse the deodorant marks. I'm about to throw this in the wash, but this is another one I got. This one is pretty unique because it has like this reflective material on the bottom and it also has the skinny straps. So going along with the sporty style, I picked up these from Plato's Closet for $30. $30. These retail for about $80 and I got them for $30. I have not stopped wearing them. They are actually one of the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn. These definitely will replace my Converse because Converse aren't even that comfortable. They just go with a lot of stuff. So I actually just put up a new vlog talking about this purse. I got this from Aldo. I have not yet like used it. That's why the strap's still on it. But basically this is a really big crossover bag and it's just super pretty. I thought it was perfect for going out because it's like that new trendy taupe brownish color and it's pretty big so I can fit like a lot in it. Next, I have some beauty products. The first one I already used, that's why the cap's not on it because I don't know where it is, but it is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. One day Ulta was actually having a sale so I got two of them because they were both at $10.50. I find that these go really, really fast because whenever I do get them, I use them a lot just because they're a lot quicker to use than dip brow. Next, I got another refill. This is the Make It Forever HD Foundation. I am in the color 173Y445. I am obsessed with this. This is probably my hands down favorite, favorite, favorite foundation ever. It is the quickest thing. You just have to like draw little lines all over your face and then just buff it out with either a beauty blender or a brush. A lot of times I'll use the brush to buff it out and then the beauty blender to get rid of any streaks that the brush may have left. Next is a really exciting product. I got my hands on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the color Tan Sand. Mine has a little bit of a yellow undertone and I think it goes perfectly with my skin. This is full coverage so you don't need as much as other concealers. I used to use the Naked Skin Concealer. I literally run out of that so fast and I feel like this one's gonna last me a while because it is full coverage and I feel like there's a lot more product in this container. Last but not least, I bought a new camera lens for my vlogging camera. Recently, I've been binge watching YouTubers that are really into videography and photography and it really inspired me to kind of step up my vlogging game. So look out for my vlogs over the summer. This one is the 16 millimeter 2.8 lens. The kit lens actually is a 16 millimeter as well so that means it's a wide angle lens but it doesn't have as low of an aperture as I would have loved it to have. So that's why I got this one with the 2.8. It's just like a little bit lower. I know not everyone is into cameras as I am but just to compare the lens I'm filming on is actually a 2.8 so it'll be super blurry in the background and everything will be clear in the foreground. So I know that was kind of a random haul but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have direct links to everything on my blog so I will link the post in the description box below. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! But it